Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. Mind blown. Blown minds all around. I already know it. So before we start, okay, here's the deal. I need y'all to listen to what's going on. Here in my hands, I hold four wrestling video games. SmackDown 2007, 2008, 2010, 2011. Where's 2009? I don't know. That's why it's not here. But here's what's gonna happen, okay? Over the course of the next couple of days, we are gonna do one episode for each of these games here, okay? Whichever of those episodes gets the most likes, that will become a series, okay? So that's something very important to keep in mind over these next couple of days as these videos come out. So it's totally up to you guys which one ends up becoming a series so I need you to hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can if you want it to be Smackdown vs. Raw 2007 but you're probably asking Chris, wait is it 2007? Yeah. You're probably asking Chris, what are we doing in Smackdown vs. Raw 2007? I mean it probably says in the title but let's pretend that you didn't read the title yet. Well, we're gonna be doing General Manager Mode. That is right, the coveted, beloved GM Mode in 2007 is what we're gonna start off with here today. So we're gonna draft the rosters. We're gonna get all our show stuff set up. We're gonna know who's where, who's got what title, who's a face, who's a heel, blah, blah, blah. Set all that stuff up and get our uh, GM situation straightened out. And again, if you guys wanna see this as a series, you gotta hit that thumbs up button. I think I'm gonna leave like a 10,000 like threshold for these videos. If they don't get 10,000 likes, that's not the series that we're doing. How about that? How about a challenge for y'all? Y'all probably gonna do that in a day. I'm gonna be sitting here looking stupid. Anyway, general manager mode. Now, I'll be honest, I never did a GM mode before. Did not do it when I used to play these games. I was more of a season mode, uh, road to WrestleMania mode kind of guy. So GM was never really my thing. So I'm actually really excited to get started on a new GM mode and do it for basically the first time ever in 2017, 10 years after the damn game came out. So without further ado, let's get this draft underway and get GM mode started. All right, do we go to SmackDown or do we go to Raw? Now, 2007. They still had the Fist Arena in SmackDown, didn't they, in 2007? And I think I think SmackDown has the world title and Raw has the WWE title, so I think we actually might go with SmackDown. First, draft selection will be chosen at random. Draft picks will alternate between two brands. Raw has the Women's Championship. SmackDown has the Cruiserweight Championship. Cruiserweights are in blue, Divas are in red. You're not required to draft all 20 superstars. Recommended roster size is 12 to 20. Okay, so we gotta keep in mind that we got the cruiserweights uh, and we have 10 million dollars and we get the first overall draft pick here. Oh man, oh man. Um, oh, okay, let's go through and see. I just wanna check out this roster first of all and see who was over here in, in 2007. Okay, we got some John Cena, we got Angle. We got the Hardys make fun. Well, not the Hardys. We actually only have Matt Hardy, right? No Jeff Hardy. Hmm. That is interesting. That is interesting. Mick Foley, Randy Orton, Shawn Michaels, RVD, Triple H, Undertaker. Ooh, Triple H. Ribble H is a good one. But you know what? In honor of the newest Hall of Fame inductee, drafted number one overall is going to be... Kurt Angle, baby, and we're gonna actually draft him for, let's give him a six month, oh, they took John Cena! Bro, took John Cena, number one overall, oh, man. All right, the number two then, number two then, I'm gonna go with uh, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Let me get HBK on my roster for six months. They took Batista. Okay, they took Batista, so that means actually, I can keep DX together and take Ribble H, let's go, six months. 
Rey Mysterio. Okay, so they got Batista and Rey. They could probably be a tag team. We got Sean and Triple H. That's obviously a tag team. So let's take another big time singles competitor. Let me see who we got here. I mean, Edge is a good choice. Kane, Matt Harley, Mick Foley, Randy Orton. Ugh. You know what? Undertaker. Ugh. I feel like if I take Randy, they're going to take Undertaker. And if I take Undertaker, they're going to take Randy. And I want both of them. So I'm actually going to go ahead. Who's got higher popularity? They're about the same, surprisingly. 78 and 78. I'm taking Randy Orton. I'm taking the Legend Killer. Oh, they took Edge. They took Edge. So that means your boy is going after the Undertaker. Oh, we got a good ass roster. They took Trish. We don't need women because uh, we don't swing that way. No, I'm kidding. Uh, because we got the cruiserweights. We don't actually have. Okay, so maybe I should draft a cruiserweight. Or should I try to pick up another heavy hitter? Shelton Benjamin. I very much enjoy Shelton Benjamin. And I'm very disappointed that he got injured and wasn't able to come back just yet. And this is getting kind of thin. So I'm going to go. Right, yes, I will take Shelton Benjamin. Drafted to SmackDown. Chris Benoit goes to Raw. Oh, that's interesting because he was actually probably going to be the next one that I draft. Uh, shit. Okay. As I go through, I'm actually starting to realize that the cruiserweight division is a little thin. So, there's only five cruiserweights. Kid Cash. Psychosis. Popularity 56. Yeah, I want you on my show. Popularity 56. Super crazy. Popularity 58. Like, what? Yeah, Vito, everyone. Give it up for Vito. You're just someone's Italian uncle. Like, okay. Um, so, ooh, Boogeyman. They got the Boogeyman in here. Flair. Uh, <laughs> Mick Foley. Uh, Matt Hardy. Uh, Kane. I mean, we could go with the Undertaker and Kane, you know, situation. Shoot. Okay, I'm actually going to go with the Boogeyman. I don't know why. I really don't know why, but I'm taking the Boogeyman. I don't know why. I'm going to give him three months. I'm going to give three months to the Boogeyman. They take RVD. Okay. So they took RVD. I'm going to go ahead and grab... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab Kane. I'll grab Kane. Bam. Give me him for... Give me him for three months. I only want him for three months. Oh, they took Ric Flair. Son of a... I think Foley's probably next. Uma Umaga. Umaga's not a bad choice. Umaga is not a bad choice. But neither is Mick Foley. Foley, I'm taking him. You also get only three months. Lita goes there. So I will take Umaga. I'll give Umaga six months. And I got 2.7 mil left. They took Carlito. You can have him. Uh, let me see. Let me see what else we got here. What else we got? Um, I'm, I might as well take the Hardy. I might as well take Mr. Mr. Matt Hardy. Maybe. JBL. Johnny Nitro. Could get a little Johnny Chavo. Booker T. Bob. Oh, Bobby Lashley. I completely missed Bobby Lashley. Hell yeah, I want Bobby Lashley. Uh, they took Super Crazy. Again, you can have him. Do I want Big Show? Big Show and Kane. You gotta have them. Those are the <laughs> those are the ratings draws. JBL, Hardcore, Holly, uh, Mr. Kennedy. I'll take Mr. Kennedy. Actually, three months. I'll give him three months. Um, 1.4 million left. They took JBL. I'm gonna go ahead and just pick like one more. Holly, hell no. William Regal. Regal would could be a real. Oh, Snitsky. Oh my goodness. Um, I'll go with Johnny Nitro for three months, and then I will take Matt for five weeks, and I think that's gonna be it. I think that's gonna be it. Let me actually take, who would I take? Umaga? I'll, I'll give three months to Umaga also. 1.2 million left. I feel like I should have more money left. I'm gonna give three months to Shelton. Everybody else here can stay at six. 1.5 million left. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. I'll, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. So here we go. Here are the Raw and SmackDown rosters. Uh, over here. Oh, I can't go over to the Raw side? Okay, screw it. All right. Kurt Angle, number one. Shawn Michaels, Triple H, Randy Orton, Undertaker, Shelton, Boogeyman, Kane, Mick Foley, Umaga, 
Bobby Lashley, Mr. Kennedy, Johnny Nitro, and Matt Hardy. Let's go ahead. Are you sure you want to leave the draft? Yes! In order to create rivalries, dirty superstars must square up against clean superstars. So let's see who I want to be faces and heels, if you will. All right. Um, I actually think Matt Hardy and Johnny Nitro could be a good heel tag team. Kane can stay a heel. Kurt Angle is going to be my, my top uh, my top baby face. I think I'll take Mick Foley as clean. HBK is clean. Um, or do I want DX to be like a heel tag team? Let's keep let's keep that clean. Okay, so we got clean, 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 clean. Okay, I think we got a good balance here. We got a, a pretty good balance. So I'll go ahead and stick with this. World Heavyweight Champion. I'm gonna give the title again to the number one overall draft pick, Kurt Angle. Tag team champions are going to be D Generation X. United States Champion. Hmm. United States Champion. Ugh. Shelton, maybe. HBK, maybe. Randy. What's the other title? Oh, Cruiserweight. Randy Orton? Let's give Randy Orton the United States Championship. So look at this. Kurt Angle, world champ. DX the tag champs. Randy Orton, the US champ. And unfortunately, we don't have enough cruiserweights for a cruiserweight title. Oh, boo-hoo. Life goes on. Bam! Smackdown, baby! Uh-oh. Oh, oh, I'm getting a call. I'm getting a call from Vince. Oh, dear. Mr. McMahon, how are you? Vincent Kennedy McMahon here. I called to welcome you to the WWE. Oh, thank Before you so much. you start your new job as general manager, I wanted to make one thing very clear. What's that? This company was built on a desire to succeed. All challenges and opposition are taken head on and conquered. Failure is not acceptable. I agree 100%. As the new general manager, I expect the same from you. Absolutely, sir. Be aware that your show, your ratings, and your decisions will be measured against the opposing general manager. Uh huh. At right, the end right, right. of the year, I will review both shows' current standings, and the general manager that has the largest fan base will receive the coveted General Manager of the Year Award. Whew. The loser will be fired. Good oh, luck. Oh, dear. Okay, sir, before you get. Sir. Hello? Sir. Miss. Thank you. All right, the deal has been sealed. Let's see what we got going on here. What, what's going on in our emails? Taz, if you need any help figuring out any general manager's duties, feel free to check out my report in the report section. Um, fan support, Taz's reports, overall review. I don't want to read all this stuff. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay. Um, we got to go ahead, I think, and set up rivalries, I believe. So current champions, we already know what that is. Rivalries. Oh, no, no, no. First, I need storyline writers, right? I need people to write my uh, my shows. So I'm going to take all of the... Hmm, all of the hottest returning legend, uh, cheating girlfriend, absolutely. I need these... Ooh, Wing of Diva's heart, no. I want to lose or leave the brand. I want these five-star stories. This is what I need. Uh, against all odds, student turns on teacher. Those are trash. Three stars. Number one contender. Let's go there. Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, Josh Kimmel. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel is uh, is writing for the WWE now. Okay, so we contracted. I might as well grab more. Winning a diva's heart. How much cash I got? I got less than a mil left. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on uh, on hiring any more writers here to my show. Free agency. Who are some free agents? Okay, all these people were not drafted. I will keep an eye on them as time goes on. Storyline writers, we got proposed trades. I don't need any trades right now. Actually, let me see if we can pull off an upset here. Let me see if I can trade the boogeyman for John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> Let's trade the boogeyman for John Cena. Yes. Uh, trade decline. <laughs> okay, I don't blame you. Trade doesn't work. We'll, I'll try it again at some point. We'll, 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 we'll circle back to that. We'll circle back to that. All right, let's go back to these rivalries and see what we got going on. Um, Legend Killer obviously is a good is a good Randy one. So let's take good old Randy Orton, Legend Killer. 
Uh, doesn't matter where I put them. Select superstars to involve in the rivalry. Um, who who would be a good legend to kill? Do they need to be on opposite sides, like clean and dirty? Does that need to be a thing? That if so, that's kind of that might screw me a little bit. What if I do Randy Orton and Shawn Michaels? Oh no, it has to be clean because he's dirty. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. so Randy Orton, the Undertaker. Randy Orton, and the Undertaker. That's gonna be. Right when I'm not selected. Oops. Um, ooh. Nine weeks, 20 weeks, 24 weeks. Let's take this to... Let's keep these first couple rivalries short. Let's take it there. Legend Superstar does not qualify for the rivalry. Wait, what? All right, how about we do this? How about we switch it up? Because I'm not, I'm not actually sure why that's not working at the moment. But we'll try Undisputed Champion Kurt Angle. And uh, who has he been fighting for the title? He's been fighting The Undertaker for the title. Does that work? Oh, I need at least one clean, one dirty. Son of a bitch! Um, Randy? Undisputed champion? Let's do that. Nine weeks. There you go. Randy Orton and Kurt Angle. That's a pretty damn solid rivalry. Let's go with... We're gonna do... We're gonna do a cheating girlfriend storyline featuring Matt Hardy and... The Boogeyman. <laughs> The Boogeyman getting up in Matt Hardy's situation and stealing his girl. Oh, Jerry Springer not qualify. Why? Why does he not qualify for the rivalry? I think he's very qualified for this rivalry. How about Shelton Benjamin and Shawn Michaels? How does he not, why does the Dirty Superstar not qualify for the rivalry? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Kane? Oh, I can randomize the rivalries? Since y'all don't want to let me do nothing myself. Um, faction. Jealous friend, Undertaker and Kane. That's, oh no, I can't have Undertaker two rivalries. I don't want Undertaker. Freak Show, Triple H and Shelton. Patriotism, number one contender, Triple H, John Eric. No, 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 number one contender, Triple H and, and, Sean, damn it. Oh, it's gotta be a dirty superstar. And Shelton Benjamin. Let's give Shelton. Superstar of power 15, top 10, does not qualify. Okay, how about this? Loser leaves the brand, Bobby Lashley and Mr. Kennedy. Yes, we'll go ahead and start that one. Let's start one more. Let's do one more of these randomized ones. Uh, No respect, ungrateful rookie. Those two rookies, Triple H and Kane. Uh, Humiliation, Triple H, and Johnny Nitro. I can mess with that. Let's go. All right, so for now, those are gonna be the rivalries. We got the storyline writers. Um, do I wanna customize any attributes? I don't think I do. I don't believe I do. Can I just go in and like, oh, I can just go in and just make anybody as strong or as weak as I want to. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Okay, people. So GM mode here in WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 has begun. If you want to see this become an actual series, go through the shows and try to become the greatest general manager of all time. You know what you got to do. Hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can. Let's try for at least 10,000 likes on this one. That'd be amazing. And uh, of course, stay tuned because as the days go on, you'll see uploads from those other games that I showed at the beginning of the video. And, you know, pretty soon we'll make a decision on what becomes a series. Thank you guys so much for your support. I'm very excited about doing one of these games. I like this one so far, so I wouldn't be mad at this. But, uh, again, it's going to be up to you in the long run. Thank you for stopping by. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you soon.